Hello, my name is Daniel Holbach, and today I'm going to take you through the process of patching a package. And for that, we're going to use Tango Icon Theme Extras, which is a very simple and small package. We're going to introduce some changes and generate adaptive from those changes. To get the source, we first need to check if we have a depth source package repository in in etc app sources list enabled. I'm going to do that here. And as you can see for Hardy, main restricted universe and multiverse, so all the sections are enabled. And as Tango Icon Theme Extras is in universe, we're ready to go. Now we'll run app get source Tango Icon Theme Extras. which will download the source package from the repository. What AppKit source has done is it downloaded the oric.tar.gz file, which is the unchanged source code that was released on, on the upstream homepage. The diff.gz file, which contains the compressed changes we needed to introduce to make it build in an Ubuntu environment. And the DSC file, which is a description file which contains MT5 sums of those files and so on. Also, what has happened is that AppGet source used um, dpackage source to extract the, the tarball, apply the, the diff to it, and if we look into the source tree now, we can see a Debian directory. This contains the changelog, the control file, copyright file, and the rules file, and all of these are necessary to to um, to make a package compliant to the Debian policy and to make it build in in a Debian or Ubuntu environment. In this tutorial, we're going to make a few small changes to the control file. So we're going to edit it. And if you look at the file closely, you will see that it contains at least two, in this case it's just two stanzas. The first one is about the source package, and the second one is about the, the binary, binary packages we are about to produce. The, the package maintainer is listed, build dependence, which is a list of packages that are necessary to to build the package. And the standards version, which is the version of the Debian policy this source pa package complies against. We're going to update the standards version to the newest version of the Debian policy that was 3.7.3. .3. And one part that changed in 3.7.3 .3 is a home page field was added. So we can move the, the homepage URL, which is in the description right now, to this homepage field and remove it down there. Okay, it looks good. Save it. And what we'll do now is we document the, the change. And this is really important and even more important in the Ubuntu world because in Ubuntu, we maintain all the packages with the whole Ubuntu developer team. So if you think a certain change makes a lot of sense, you need to justify why. You need to explain what exactly you changed and, and why you did that. Now we'll run dch-i, which will introduce a new change log entry. dch is a tool of the, of the dev scripts package. If you look at the first line of the introduced changelog entry, you can see the source package name, the package version, and Hardy specifies which uh, Ubuntu release we upload to. We can always just upload to the current development release, which in our case is Hardy. So if we wanted to introduce a change into, say, Depo or Edgy, 
it would be Dapper updates or edgy updates instead. The version number is 0.1.0-0 Ubuntu 5 and it consists of two parts. The first one before the dash is the upstream version number. So this says on the upstream web page you can find the release version 0.1.0 and O Ubuntu 5 means this is the fifth revision of it in Ubuntu. O means these changes are not in, in, in Debian yet. Now we'll describe what we've done. In Debian control, we introduced the home page field. Also, we updated to the newest standards version. Okay, that looks good. We'll save it. And now we'll run dbuild minus capital S, which will rebuild the source package for us and regenerate the diffgz diff and the DSC file. As part of this process, we have to um, enter our GBG passphrase to sign the, the source package. To do that now. Okay. If you look at the files that were generated, you can see it's O Ubuntu 4, the, the version we downloaded, and there's O Ubuntu 5. There's the DSC file, the diffgz, also a file that's called source.build. This is a, a build log of, of the, the process it just went through. If we now run depthdiff on the two DSC files, we will see all the changes we, we just introduced. So there's Debian change log or change log entry and all the changes in the control file standards version homepage and the change description and that's it now we can pipe the whole output into a file called depth diff and this is your first depth diff it's ready to be submitted <laughs>